name's Nick. I'm with Sunshine State RVs in Gainesville, Florida. We are the number one Class B dealership in the state of Florida. We're number three in the whole United States of America because we deliver these things for free anywhere in the country and we get to represent some of the best Class B vans on the market. And our team knows a lot about it. We have a great reputation and we take care of our customers. So lots of cool things that Sunshine State RVs does that is different than any other dealership in the entire country. Um, but that's not what, exactly what we're talking about today. I'll sprinkle it in a little bit. But what we're gonna talk about today is the brand new 2025 Coachman Nova. This is the 20D. So this is the D floor plan made by Coachman on a ProMaster chassis. This is 20 feet, 11 inches. This has the lithium, this has their cool wheels. This has every single option that Coachman offers on one, this Nova has. And it has a ton of ProMaster options also, which is very cool. So in this video, we're gonna go through front to back, top to bottom, a full detailed walkthrough of this Nova. I'm gonna teach you everything that I know about it, which is about that much, but I'll teach you a lot of stuff. And if you're looking for a ProMaster, if you're looking for something with lithium, if you're looking for a comfortable Class B van, this Nova should definitely be at the top of your list. And in my opinion, my humble opinion, Sunshine State RVs should be at the very top of that list as well because of all the cool stuff we do for you. So Coachman is a great company. Sunshine State RVs is great. I want to show you during this video why this Nova is awesome. Okay, so during this video, I'm going to show you and walk through everything in this Coachman Nova. So Coachman is in Elkhart, Indiana. Everything's made in the United States. They make three different vans right now. They make a Galleria on the Mercedes Sprinter. They make a Beyond on the Ford Transit. And then they make this Nova on the ProMaster chassis. So we actually have a Beyond right here. This is another video or another van we're doing a video on right now. They both have the same floor plan. They both have the 20D floor plan. So on this one here, being that that's all wheel drive, dual rear wheels and 22 feet, this one is 20 feet and it's and it's not all wheel drive, which, you know, ProMaster is not making an all wheel drive model, which kind of stinks. But this is a smaller one. The Transit's a little bigger and the Mercedes is one cool thing about Coachman is that through all three of their vans, they use, they're very consistent. Most companies aren't. They have like their high end, their mid and their low. I like how Coachman does it. So Coachman does through their entire line, the same cabinetry, same insulation, same lithium system, same everything. So that way you are not getting a inferior product because you're getting a Nova or the best because you're getting a Galleria. You're just getting different sizes and different chassis. So it just basically boils down to what are you looking for? So. This one does have the Lithionics. So it has a 630 amp hour Lithionics battery. It has 300 watts of solar. It has the underhood generator. It has the inverter, 3000 watt inverter. So their whole lithium system can power the air conditioner and everything in this van for six to eight hours. Now they have an option to go to a double lithium. The double lithium is 1260 amp hours of lithium. Now that can power it for 14, 15 hours. A customer of ours last week was camping here and did a test on it. And he ran that AC with a double lithium for 14 hours. So I, it, it will last and it can last. And depending on how you camp, everyone camps a little different, but this is the ProMaster 20 feet, 11 inches. This is their new front end, their new headlights. They got fog lights. It, this is a cool look, right? Um, this one actually has the black upgraded wheels as well. So they give you these nice Firestone wheels or tires with black upgraded wheels. Um, they give these nice big running boards. So there's a small one here and there's a big one on the dry, on the passenger side. So this is a great, this is nice. This is a 2025 on the 24 chassis. So some of the cool things about the new chassis are the push button start, the adaptive cruise, digital rear view mirror. You have this button here, you press and it unlocks the doors and locks them. So I really like that as well. Um, this is an outside shower port. So if you're out camping at a campground like this and you decide, hey, let's go wade through the pond or the swamp over there, doesn't look very appealing to me, but some people like fly fishing and they like walking through areas like that and you come back and you're just filthy. You plug your outside shower in, you wipe, you hose your feet down, you hose your dog down, you hose your kids down, dude. I used to hose my kid before my kids come in the house, I would grab a hose and I would spray them from head to toe because they just get filthy. 
their kids, right? Now they're older kids. I wish they were still little kids, but they're not. Uh, but they give you a nice outdoor shower here, <clears throat> which is great. As we are walking, you can see this is your plumbing. So you got one for your black tank, one for your gray tank. You have your hose there. You have your smart plug here and you have your water connection. So you got fresh water or city water, fresh water, a black tank flush, which is neat because what you do is you put a water hose there, you turn the hose on and it goes backwards into the black tank to flush all the gunk and black and nasty out of it. Um, but this is the smart plug. So I'm a big fan of these. I talk about them on every video because I think they solve a lot of problems. So what you do is you put the plug in here and then it, it, it connects in. And then no matter how hard you pull on it, it's not gonna come out, right? Which is nice. Because a lot of problems get happen when the plug's not in all the way, when it's in halfway and it's trying to, to make a current in it in an arc it in the arcs and then it causes a fire and then Fires aren't good in RVs. You never want to have a fire in your RV. Um, but it does bad things. So when you come to Gainesville and buy an RV from Sunshine State RVs, our guy Corey is a very patient and very knowledgeable person who will give you your walkthrough and teach you how to use the van. And he will teach you all about the smart plug. He will teach you to take that plug, plug it in there, plug it into the shore power thing. He'll teach you how to hook your your uh, gray tank and black tank help. He'll teach you how to do all of this. And he spends as much time with you as you need to go through it. So if you come to Gainesville, we will fly you here and we will teach you how to use it. Then we put you up here at a campground. And when you camp here at this campground for your first two nights, if you have any issues, any concerns, something doesn't work, that happens sometimes. Then we are five minutes from here and we will take care of any issues you have. That's our guarantee to you that you will leave Gainesville knowing how to work everything and knowing that everything works. That's our guarantee. We also give you a guarantee of five days for service appointments and tech support no matter where you're at in the whole country. You call us and we help you out instantly. But Coachman has a great Facebook group. The Beyond, Nova's, Galleria's, they have a they have a few Facebook groups, but the best tech support is on their Facebook group because you go on there and you say, hey, I can't figure out my plug. And you'll have 20 very helpful, knowledgeable Beyond and Nova owners that will help you. And out of those 20, 10 of them probably bought their van from us. You know, we sell more Coachman's than anybody in the country. We absolutely love everything Coachman does. We do a big rally every year in Ocala for Coachman's. I mean, we do so much cool stuff. We are big fans of the community of Dean, who, who does the group, and Mike Frawley and Dutch, those guys. They are, I mean, they are running those Facebook groups and they do a great job. Um, this is something pretty new. So you got the black wheels, which gives it a cool look. And now you have the spare tire holder with a ladder. So this is nice because on the ladder, Ladder, you climb here, you climb here, and you're here, and now you're up on top. I'm sorry, I'm showing you my backside, but now we are up on top of the van. You can check it out. You can actually jump up here if you want. I'm not gonna do that for the sake of the video, but this is strong, right? Very nice, strong ladder. You can store stuff on it. Um, I love how easy it is to use. One, two, three, now we're down. I might've just broke something, but now we're down. And look at this, something popped off. So there we go. So now that's there. Scott Watson, good friend of mine from Go Small, Live Large, had one of these on his van. He got rear-ended and they hit this and did no damage to his van. Where if he didn't have this, he would have damaged his entire house because he lives in his van. So very cool that this serves as like a dual purpose. It gives you a spare and it protects you from people rear-ending you, which is, which is pretty neat. So. You do have a towing package here, about 3,500 3, pounds of towing capacity. Um, so this is neat. So in the, in the Nova D, I love this setup, right? These are brand new. So they just released these cabinets for the D model. I'm not, they're not doing it. I don't think they're doing it on the other floor plans, but let me look at this. So the thing about a 20 foot van is uh, how, you know, like where do you put everything? It's small, right? People come from these big class A's and fifth wheels and they come to a van and they just, they just don't know where they're going to put stuff. But this 
Nova Coachman, they do a great job of finding any nook and cranny and making it available for you for storage. So this gives you a lot of storage, gives you extra cup holders. And this is like a little place you can you can cook, you can eat, you can put chairs back here and you can, you know, set up on it. So I love how they took advantage of the area on the rear doors there. I think it's genius. I really do. I think taking advantage of any area that you have for storage is great. This is also pretty cool here. So this is storage down there. Since this one has a single lithium, um, that's full storage. If you went with a double lithium in here, they would put the lithium battery back in there and you still have some storage, but not quite as much. Um, very nice that back here, you can throw a surfboard. You can throw a um, boogie board, uh, skis, snowboard, kayaks, stand up paddle boards, fishing poles, e-bikes, anything you can put in here. This low to the ground, very easy to lift it up and do. So whatever kind of adventurous stuff you like, that's what you can do. Sorry, it's mid-July in Florida and I'm sweating. Um, anything that you do, you can put in here and and it will, and, and you can store it. Then if you wanted, this has the same thing as the Beyond, which is nice. So you do this, then you can make this into a bed, right? So this makes it into a full bed and I'll show you a little more later. But what I wanna show you now, this makes into a full bed. And if you leave it a full bed all the time, which some people do, you have all that as storage still. So you can throw your golf clubs in there. You can put your stuff in there and never unmake the bed. It's just stuff gets stored under the bed all the time. So that is a really, really nice storage area. Uh, I've heard of people putting litter boxes under there. I've heard of dogs sleeping under, most of the time dogs sleep in the bed, but I've heard of dogs cuddling up in a little bed underneath the bed of, their parents, I don't say owners, but of their parents, you know, like the, so they can sleep in the bed, sleep under the bed. I'd probably put one of my kids under there. I think they, when they're young, they would enjoy it. When they're old, they'll hate you for it and tell you that it's child abuse, you know, the stages that kids go through. But I think this is such a great area of the van. I'm spending too much time back here, I know, but I think there's storage here, there's storage here, there's a bed, there's a screen. There's so much cool stuff. So I'll move on. I know I'm boring and there's lots to cover in this Nova, so we gotta run. Um, so what? this is the camping side, the power awning. You have a 110 plug there. You do have an area here. These windows are nice, big awning style windows that open so you can pass things in and out through the kitchen. You have the awning with the, with the LED lights. You have another awning style window here that opens and closes. This is that nice big running board I was telling you about. Um, with this door open here, there is a screen. So this screen is really nice. Actually, I didn't cover the screen in the beyond. I forgot, but this is a nice screen. It hides away when you don't want it. And when you do want it, it comes out nice big grab bar to help you get in and out of the coach as well. So, you know, guys at Coachman really think of everything. There's a plug here. So you can plug things in over here. There's a plug there. So lots of different options because everybody camps so differently. Some people use these big class A's. Some people camp in this. Some people camp in a tent. They don't even want anything to do with this stuff. So no matter how you camp, if this is, I mean, this Coachman Nova has some really cool stuff. So we're about to jump inside. I'm going to stop sweating. We're going to turn the air conditioner on and we're going to show you everything that is on the inside of this Coachman Nova. Okay, so we're inside this Nova, which is one of my favorite videos to do when we're inside a van in the middle of July because this AC is on, the front AC is on, and there's a little airflow right now. So it feels great in here. You know, one of the cool things about Coachman is the insulation. Um, I know I, I always talk about the insulation, but I'm, it's such a big deal when an RV like this is insulated well because you can tell. You can tell when you walk in in the middle of summer. You can tell when you walk in in the middle of winter. You can tell when you're trying to regulate the temperature that the cozy wrap, the rock wool, the hush mat, all of that is working and working very well. So Coachman does one of the best jobs with insulation. So these are these big awning style windows I mentioned earlier that I absolutely love. So in this floor plan, they give you one, two, three, four of these big awning style windows so you can open them up and get, you can get breeze, not in Florida in July, but you can get breeze in Yosemite in September and it's beautiful. So no matter where you're at, you can get breeze. When you're camping, you can pass things out. So if you're making some here, 
and you know my wife would be doing something i'll be out there with the kids she would hand it to me through the window and it just makes it a lot easier to access that way and then obviously when it's shut they are tinted which is nice and they're double insulated so it's a dual pane acrylic window they have daytime or nighttime shades and daytime shades so if you want to leave it open and you want the shade down you can do that as well so i love these big windows i think if someone offers it it is a 100 percent must have on a van to have those now not everyone offers like they don't do it on the beyond they only do it on the Nova. So, uh, you know, um, very few companies offer these big awning style windows. And I think that they are a game changer, an absolute game changer. So in this thing, there again, I'm six foot tall. So I have a lot of space, lots of space to move around, to walk. I do not feel tight. There's two of us in here. I do not feel claustrophobic at all, right? I feel like I have a lot of space. I really like these white cabinets because with the windows, with the cabinets, with the wide open area, this really feels like there's a lot of space in it. So Coachman offers three colors in the cabinets. They offer a modern gray, they offer a white and a maple. So this is the white, this is the airy one. Um, this also comes with a nice white marble with like, you know, the gray, you know, the veins in it. This is like a very modern color with a modern square sink and, you know, the nice faucet that comes out and, you know, so you, Coachman offers some really cool colors and, and some cool combinations. Uh, the gray is the newest color. It comes with a different floor. So, you know, they're, they're spicing it up some, you know, but what's cool is all these cabinets are made by an Amish factory about 10, 15 minutes. I actually met the cabinet maker this year who makes these and dude, I shook his hand, pat him on the back. I said, you do a great job. I was very impressed. When I, when I met him, I remember going up there and eating at some of these Amish bakeries. And so, I mean, it's just some reason they know how to make food better than non-Amish people. I don't understand it, but it is some of the best food and desserts that I've ever had. But the quality is there. You can tell the dovetails in the drawers, you know, the soft closing. You got the big drawer for the garbage can, which is really nice. Um, everything is there, you know, you have the extension here that has some extra cabinets here. So they kind of extended the cabinet out. Being a 2025, this has every upgrade that Coachman offers. So this is an upgrade. So they used to end it here, but then they extend it out and give you a little extra cabinet there. You know, the square sink, this color countertop. You have the, the King um, the King Connect that gives you internet, Wi-Fi extender, cell booster, digital antenna. The King Olympus gives you all of that in this coach. Um, something else that's pretty cool is there's a lagoon table in the front and a lagoon table in the back. So everybody RV is different, right? I'll turn this down a little bit. Everybody RV is a little different. So, you know, in my situation, uh, my wife likes to sleep longer than I do. And I say this all the time because it's true. I left this morning and she was sound asleep, um, which is pretty typical. Uh, she works her butt off. She works a lot later. I was playing tennis yesterday at 5.30 and she was still working until eight. So everyone's on different schedules, right? So um, I would, if me and my wife were sleeping back there, I would wake up, I'd walk up here. I'd make my coffee very, very quietly. Um, so I don't wake her. And I'd have the lagoon table here. I'd have it's set up to where I can just hang out, sit back, drink my coffee. I've had my iPad, maybe my Bible, a newspaper, something. And, and I'd be able to just, you know, sit here, hang out and do my morning routine while she's sleeping. So I, I appreciate how Coachman is giving you a lot more space up front. They're giving you the second lagoon table. They're making these chairs comfortable to where you can swivel them. And it's enough distance that even with all the noises that I make and all the stuff that I do that I think my wife would be able to sleep back there while I'm up here hanging out. So I like how they do that. The other thing is if you have kids or guests with you, you can also divide and conquer. So you can have a couple of kids back there, a couple of kids up here. You know, you play a zone defense when you have four kids. You know, my kids are older now. They're 20, 18, 15, and 13. So two of them are moved out. So I just have two kids at the house. It feels like we're on like a constant vacation because when you go from four kids to two, you don't know what to do with your life. Like you have all this free time, everything's quiet, everything's cheaper. It's like insane. Um, but when you, have, when you have four little kids like we did, one time we had two, four, six, and eight year old. That's nuts. Uh, we would play a zone defense. And so we'd be like, oh, you back there with those two. I'm up here with these two and we'll get it figured out. So you can divide and conquer even in a 20 foot 
11 inch RV, which people really like. So we'll talk about the ProMaster chassis for a second. Nice big screen. You have the adaptive crew. So this is on a 24 chassis. I just got off the phone with uh, Tommy, who is my awesome rep up in Elkhart, Indiana at the factory. And he says they have, they're all coming with the adaptive cruise. They're having a digital rear view mirror, push button start, the nice big nav screen. You have your cell phone charger here. You have everything. All of these ProMaster chassis are fully loaded now. Um, they did get some in without the digital rear view mirror. So you know what Coachman did? They said, you know what? We feel bad about that. We're not gonna give you one without the factory or without a digital rear view mirror. So they put uh, an aftermarket digital rear view mirror on it. So that way you still have a digital rear view mirror. So there's still some lagging leftovers from COVID that people can't, that factories, they just can't get what they want. They can't get the type of headlights they want, or they can't get some of the digital rear view mirrors. So these factories are still having to make concessions for that. So Coachman does a great job with that. Um, this is your control panel here. So as we're moving, this is it. So this is your inverter, your awning, your Truma, which does a hot water furnace and air conditioner, um, battery disconnect. This is your Firefly that does your lights and all that. You have your Max Air remote here, and then you have your lithium and all of this stuff is here. You know, one thing I love about this Lithionic system is that we have a app. So the app will show you what percentage your battery's at, how much voltage and current and all that is being used and how long it can be used for. It shows you everything right here, which is great. Like I said, this has the 630 amp hours of lithium. Um, this could also have the double lithium which is uh, 1260 amp hours, which can run forever. So your solar controller, all your other stuff is here. Oh, sorry about that. All your other stuff is here. So lots of space, big fridge, nice sliding door freezer. So all of this is easy. I like in a 20 foot van, you have a big fridge and freezer. This is new for 2025 as well. You have the air fryer, you have a roaster. I don't know what you would roast in a microwave, but you roast things in here. You have a, oh, I pressed the button. A bake, a microwave, microwave and convection. So this all this can do all of that. So this is a game changer. An air fryer. I mean, we start using air fryer at home and it is phenomenal. Like it can do so much more than like a microwave or a crock pot or that. An air fryer is pretty stinking awesome. Um, you know, you have your pizza oven stores they call it that because it's hot as a pizza oven uh which is pretty cool so the as we're walking through we're going to check out the bathroom the kitchen you got all these things here so in this bathroom this is a nice big double door bathroom with with glass doors and so you know i'm a big dude right six foot 238 pounds i fit most places, but I really fit here. Like this feels great. So as we're sitting here, lots of space, you have a sink. We have a, a shower head that can be a sink here. It can also go up there and be the shower head. You have a shower miser, you have a mirror, toilet paper. Some people sh do all this with the doors open and just the curtain down. Some people close the doors when they handle their business. Um, you know, I can easily close both of these doors and be very comfortable. Um, I can also easily leave them both open. They don't have to be closed. Have to be, I mean, I can, you know, lots of flexibility in here, but I like the space. The shower miser saves water because it fills the line with hot water. And then when it's ready, it turns a color and then you just turn it on. Now you have hot water coming out of your shower, which is very nice. I uh, wish my kids understood how that deal works. They don't. Um, as we're walking, you have a fantastic fan. You have your Truma air conditioner. It is a low profile AC. So even being six foot, I have room under this air conditioner uh, where some ACs come down a lot more and I bang my head on them. But I love how Coachman is using only the Truma air conditioner now. Nothing else, no 12 volts, no Dometics, no Norton, nothing else. They're using only this Truma AC, which is a great idea, great idea. Um, so. Well, you know, I remember when they first started doing these this floor plan, and I loved the fact that they gave you a spice rack. I don't know if you need this many spices when you travel and cook, uh, but it can be 
it can, you know, you can put socks in here. You can figure out what to do with these things, but this is traditionally called a spice rack, um, but lots of space here for whatever it is you want to put in this area. They easily could have just done this, just give you a thing to reach your hand in, but they, they like going above and beyond and making things very high quality. So they also give you these drawers, which are nice there again, they easily just could have done this where you have to reach in, but they gave you these drawers so you can store a lot more stuff in them. So I don't know what I would put in there. You know, I mentioned earlier, my wife being a pack rat, I guarantee you she'll find something to put in there. Um, so this is the D floor plan. Everything from here up is the same in the C. Um, the only thing that changes are the beds. So the D has really, really comfortable cushions. You have this lagoon table. It's a little low right now. So if I was gonna use it, I'd lift it up some, but I like how it's flexible, right? I can work on my laptop here. I can use the smart TV as a second monitor um, because there's internet in here. I got lots of windows and I can see everything. This is like the best corner office in the world because you got lots of space, lots of fresh air. You can really, you know, I would love to be working like this. I, I, I would make this a very comfortable work area back here. Um, but then you have your twin beds, you have couches. One cool thing, there are seat belts. So if you're taking more than two people with you, not only two people can sleep in this, maybe a third if you really, really like them. Um, but there are seat belts to where you can haul more than just two people, which is nice. Um, and then, like I showed earlier, this, all this comes over and it makes a big bed. Uh, because the lagoon table's up, I'm not gonna make that right now, but I will show you how much room you have. So let's move these out of the way. So if I'm sleeping just like this, this is a twin bed, that's a twin bed. 238 pounds, I'm wide, I'm big. I got plenty of space here, right? I would have to sleep like a mummy though. I could not move because I would fall. But you can easily make this into a big, uh, uh, the full size bed and sleep two people comfortably. But if you did want it to be twin beds, the majority of people in this world are smaller than me. So they could easily fit on that. Um, so it's comfortable, right? Big twin beds, these things slide out very easily. It takes one minute to make this bed up and one minute to tear it down, which isn't bad. Um, so as we are showing, you know, earlier in the video, I showed how you can throw things through the middle, keep the bed made up, which is nice. You can also walk through here while somebody's sleeping, which is nice. Get up in the middle of the night, use the bathroom, all of that. Um, lots of storage in here too. So all of these open, lots of lighted storage. You have your JBL Bluetooth speaker, smart TV with Netflix. You have a second Firefly back here. So, you know, Coachman truly is thinking everything. Like they do such a great job of thinking how, what are the 9,000 ways somebody's gonna use an RV? And we wanna make sure that all 9,000 of those ways can be used. They, would, they don't want someone to say, oh, I'm gonna do this and it doesn't have that capability. It doesn't have storage for this. Like they really wanna make sure that whatever they put back here fits the way you are gonna use it. So I, as you can tell from this video, I'm enthusiastic about Coachman. I think they're a great company. They really stand behind their product. They have a great Facebook group. They have great gatherings, great, great people. I have met so many great people throughout the years in this coaching group, people that I call friends, people that, that I follow them on Facebook and I see all their journeys. So it's been really cool to, to be a part of a community like this, that, that truly is great vans, great people, um, you know, great experiences too. I mean, these vans really do change people's lives. Every day I talk to people that their lives are changed because of the van that they bought and they're able to go see the world and, and fulfill their retirement dreams. Or while they're working, get to work and see the world as well. So, you know, this is the end of the video. It is ending. Most people don't watch it to the end. So if you did, I appreciate it. Most people don't. It does get a little boring, I guess. Uh, but at Sunshine Service, we have these vans there. We will ship it to you for free. We will fly you here. Call us, talk to Angie or Brandon, Austin, Richie, somebody will help you find the RV of your dream. So thank you for watching. We have a lot of other ones, a lot of other Novas, Beyonds, Galleria, all these other videos out there. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.